Hey there, it's Leanne with Outdoors and Country Living. Let's make some natural beeswax lip balm. Once you try this, you won't want to use anything else. This book, The Homesteader's Herbal Companion, is a good reference. Nice book to have on your shelf. So to make the lip balm, we're going to need a simple saucepan and a spoon. Some coconut oil, pure beeswax, sweet almond oil, and some essential oils. I would encourage you to use organic products whenever you can since we're putting this on our skin. These are some of our favorite essential oils. They are optional and you're going to need some kind of container to put your lip balm in. So this is a practical guide to herbalism. This book, The Homesteader's Herbal Companion, has inspiring natural remedies, lots of good recipes, if you're looking to live a more natural and healthy life. So to make the lip balm, we're going to need four teaspoons of coconut oil. This can be a little tricky to measure, just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be precise measurements. Just add that into your simple saucepan. I did a tablespoon plus a teaspoon to equal the four teaspoons. Next, two rounded tablespoons of beeswax. Two tablespoons of the organic sweet almond oil. This is what gives your lip balm a little bit of shimmer and feels really smooth on your lips. We're simply going to heat this on a very low heat, stirring it constantly. Do not leave it. It will not take long for everything to melt. We're going to stir it and heat it on very low heat until everything is melted together. The beeswax is always the last thing to fully dissolve. You could use a double boiler method. I have always chosen not to. This works very well. But making your own homemade personal care products is so easy takes a little bit of time and obviously the ingredients, but it is well worth it. So much better for us. So once it's fully melted, we're going to remove it from the heat. This is when you add your essential oil if you're using it. Add 25 or more drops of essential oil of your choice, whatever your preference is. Once the oil is in, stir it well. And then you're ready to start filling your containers, whatever that is for you. I'm using some lip balm tubes. I'm using a disposable pipette to get the lip balm into the tubes carefully. And you can find all of this equipment, the pipettes, and the lip balm tubes online or at hobby stores, craft stores. If your lip balm starts to harden or set up, just gently put it back on the heat for a couple of seconds and warm it back up. So allow your lip balm to cool once you get it in your desired container and then cap it once it's completely cooled. It'll last up to a year. Just some a partial tube here that I have. I'll roll it up and use it right away. So that's how I make homemade natural beeswax lip balm. Pretty simple. Just take some time. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this process. The recipe for this will be in the description below, so be sure to reference that. Again, use organic ingredients whenever possible. 
since we're putting it directly onto our bodies, we need to use high quality ingredients. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you've learned something. I hope you can make some for yourself too. You'll be glad you did. I promise you that. Until the next video, take care of yourselves and may God bless you.